Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. People often challenge the notion that Urtica doica, the stinging nettle, is a poisonous plant. Sometimes this is because they know that nettles can be used in food, and sometimes it is because they simply do not associate the stinging caused by brushing against a nettle with poisoning. But stinging nettle is a very clever poisoner. It has thousands of what might be called syringes on the underside of the leaves, and these inject toxins into the skin if you brush across their tips. It is the sideways movement that breaks off the tips of these syringes, meaning there is some truth to the idea that if you grasp the nettle, you will not get harmed. Many people believe it was introduced to the UK by the Romans, because soldiers would beat themselves with nettles as a way of keeping warm. There is no way to be sure that this happened, but we know that nettles were present in northern European climates long before Roman times. There are very many folk remedies for dealing with the sting from nettles. The best known is using a dock leaf to rub on the affected skin immediately after being stung, but a number of other plants also feature, and some say that rubbing the top of the nettle leaf is effective. The difficulty I've found is avoiding further stinging from the underside. I've even been told that eating some new nettle leaves will prevent the sting becoming painful. But that is hard to do without stinging on the inside of the mouth. Nettles are important plants for a number of insects, so you shouldn't be too diligent in removing them from the garden. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www thepoisongarden.co.uk